Tactical Rock and Roller Tactical Device Edition. We're going to go over some examples of bulletproof vests. Uh, just a, I have two different examples to show you. Basically, an under the clothes. Basically, an under the clothes version, as well as an over the clothes or over the shirt version. This one is made by Pinnacle Arms, so this is going to be your under the shirt or concealed version of the bulletproof vest. Pinnacle Armor, these are the same people that made the dragon skin. Um, this, of course, is not dragon skin, uh, but it is made by the same company, Pinnacle Armor, based out of Fresno, California. This is a level two vest, so this will stop most of your small caliber uh, handgun rounds. This does have a trauma plate. Basically, what a trauma plate means is there's a pocket in the front that has an additional uh, patch or pouch. They can come in steel or uh, or other bullet resistant material. This is again a soft trauma level two uh, trauma plate. So again, there is a full covering here, which is probably about a quarter inch thick of this bullet resistant material. I don't think it's Kevlar. I'm not sure exactly what material that it is. I, I don't believe Pinnacle Armor uses Kevlar in this version. Um, so this is just an additional coverage since this is where you would probably receive uh, the most likely this is the most likely place that you would be shot so there's just double uh, coverage double protection right there um, so essentially this is just going to slip over you and then velcro around uh, these tuck in to the pants now with the bulletproof vests you're not going to want to ever store these on the floor or fold them or have them you want them flat preferably hanging they sell special hangers to hang your bulletproof vests on that's the best way to go but I don't suggest laying it on the floor or having it folded because once this you cannot iron this material and once it's folded and, and messed up it is messed up forever so definitely keep it flat uh, but a nice thing to have this is great to have in case they say one train of thought is with the bulletproof vest that if someone breaks into your house the best thing to do is first you put on the um, the bulletproof vest in case someone immediately starts shooting at you at least you're defended um, another train of thought is you get your gun first but either way to have a, uh, a gun and a bulletproof vest on when you feel you have an intruder in the house is definitely a an immense tactical advantage over anyone who would be trying to do you any harm uh, this would definitely save your life so I suggest definitely getting a bulletproof vest this is one version um, again, this is a, more of a concealed version for under the clothes. Uh, and there are other versions out there that are uh, more made of steel and, and over, over the clothes for a non-concealed version, um, which I can show you as well. So this is another version of the bulletproof vest. This is going to be more of your exterior. There's no way you could hide this under your clothing. Uh, but basically what this this vest has is quarter inch steel plates um, basically all around it so th this will stop not only your small caliber uh, but up here definitely even rifle rounds as you can see quarter inch thick molded steel plates uh, this this will definitely stop um, uh, this will definitely stop This one will definitely stop all pistol rounds um, and most rifle rounds. Uh, this weighs about 26 pounds, so definitely a weighty vest. This is a, basically a Rothko uh, tactical vest with quarter inch thick steel plates just inserted in it all the way around. Uh, 
So this is going to be more of your um, apocalypse vest. Uh, definitely don't don't recommend using this day to day going out on the streets. I wouldn't get your cup of coffee with this vest on. Whereas some of the other more concealed vests, you can definitely get away with something like that. Uh, definitely check your local jurisdiction as far as whether or not it's legal to actually wear the bulletproof vest. It is legal in most jurisdictions. Uh, police officers will give you a hard time for it and question you about it, but as far as the legal ramifications, I don't believe um, that you can uh, be arrested in all jurisdictions for that. Some, some, some may get froggy, so definitely check your lo local jurisdictions to see if that's legal. But just some options out there. Uh, again, you're gonna you're gonna want to lay this flat um, or get some special hangers for this. Again, this is 26 pounds, so that's a lot of weight to hang. But definitely be careful how you store these vests. This vest has a has a Molly system on it, so you can definitely attach uh, many different accessories to that. And this was definitely designed for law enforcement or military use. But uh, every everybody can make use of that, so it definitely has loop patterns on there, Velcro. Um, Detachable shoulder harness. I mean, this this vest is good to go. An all-around tactical version. This is going to be more your heavy heavy-duty, uh, serious end, um, as as opposed to the other uh, synthetic materials. So, as you can see, um, this would be an example of of the, one of the concealed uh, bulletproof vests. Uh, looks normal, but as you can see. I am wearing the Pinnacle Armor Level 2 with trauma plate, uh, very easily concealed under the clothes. Especially when you wear a baggy shirt or something to that effect, very hard to tell. Uh, there is no, unless you touch or feel someone, you can hear that it's on, but other than that, there's no way you would know that this is on. Again, completely different than the one that I showed you with the steel plates. That's going to go outside your clothing over the shirt, but this one fits very easily. Again, as you can see, under the shirt, uh, no way you would ever know, or no way anybody would ever know that this is on. You can go out in public with this. Uh, easy to put on, very light, very light at a... Um, but that's one option just to show you how that works. And this is going to be an example of the exterior vest on, as you can see, outside the clothing. Uh, fits pretty snug. Again, 26 pounds, so definitely a lot more weight on this. You're definitely going to be able to handle a much higher caliber, uh, much higher velocities. So you, this is going to be your overall better protection. But again, there's no concealability with this. You're not hiding anything. Everyone knows you mean business when you have this one on again. Quarter inch thick steel, very heavy. Um, get weighty on the shoulders. If you're gonna entertain using something like this, I would definitely wear it on at least a weekly basis to get used to it. It definitely has uh, some weight that you're gonna have to get used to. Other than that, definitely ultimate better protection. As you can see, side up to just below the armpit, probably two, three inches below the armpit. For me, um, we have protection from basically uh, the waistline all the way up to right here, maybe three, four inches below the chin. That's all steel. Same thing on the back. And then you got two side plates. So just another option.